Whoa! <laughs> well, this was not really planned today. Spitzer said he wants to learn 360s. So what a perfect moment to do how to 360. You up for it? Yeah. We got the airbag. We have the resi. We'll ride a bit and see how this session starts off. That was like a quarter of the way there. This is how he's practicing. Oh, you're so street. That's pretty much the only way Spencer has ever 360 and it's always been on a BMX bike. Obviously, he's on his hardtail dirt jumper, so he's never spun a double. To go from street riding on a BMX to full transition on a hardtail is quite the difference. So, uh... <laughs> Let's just air the airbag up. We'll scoot the airbag super close. There's so much of a difference between spinning on flat ground like a bunny hop spin or a mellow lip. Taking that spin from a flatter lip to a proper transition, it just changes how everything spins. Because if you go to spin like you do a flat lip, you tend to push into the top lip and you want to cheat it. I've seen guys like cheat a steep lip and like as they go up, their back wheel lifts up before they get over the top. So you really want to focus on riding the lip and spinning. So really good pull off the lip and spin around. That's what's getting spins. He can do the spin, but having bigger wheels and a transition, he has to learn to ride and let his shoulder like drop in instead of always standing tall and spinning on flat. What I do, when I come off the lip, I think of it like airing a quarter. You obviously want to go up and turn. You don't want to just yank right off a quarter. You actually want to ride, air out, and spin. As I go off the lip, I try to really kind of pull back off the lip and I like to push my hips towards the landing so I know that's the direction I'm going and I go to a 90. So I think straight, pull off the lip, turn to a 90, push my hips towards the landing because here, if I want to do tricks, I would, I would start the trick right here at 90. So pull off the lip, get to 90 and I'm looking here and that's when I'm either going to throw the bars or like go to crank a table or even just a little euro. So I personally, when I go to trick, it makes me focus on the trick and not the spin so much. So I usually always try to spin and do like a euro or a table or like even a T-bog or something. That way it forces me to do my trick at 90 and then the rest of the spin just happens. We're gonna do it on the airbag first and uh, hopefully Spence gets used to spinning there and then we can take it down to the resi. Biggest thing about this trick, you have to commit. There's no halfway, like you do a no footer, you can just take your feet off the pedals. Like with a 360 or a, or a flip, like you have to do the full rotation. Almost makes it worse if you have commit. You do a flip and you just want to jump off, like you're going to get tangled in the bike or the bike's going to land on you or for that sake, like you turn halfway and you get stuck. You just get tangled in the bike. So the biggest thing is just Go for it. So I'm gonna think about coming off the lip, go to 90, pushing my hips towards the landing. I'm gonna think about putting my ear to my shoulder. What's the thing that scares you the most? Flying What's off the side of the airbag. <laughs> you're already falling as hard as you're gonna fall. It's just. You just gotta get that first one out of the way. Look, you already did a flip. Flips are way scarier. You can literally land anywhere. I'm gonna say, if you just like come off the lip like you're at a skateboard doing a fly out, it's such a step up and you have like that two foot case pad. Yeah. Just popping out of a ball at a skate park and just a little fly out spin to flat. Switch that brain off. Just do it. Yo! Yeah, dude. Yeah, you got the first one out of the way. That's all it takes. 
That was sick though, what'd that feel like? Good. It's definitely slower than I expected. How was the airbag crash? Mm, fine, I just baseball slid. I remember, ear to shoulder, just yeah. keep that weight going down. down. Yo! Second try! Yes. Sick. How'd it feel? Great. Nice. Feels good. I seriously think when we back it up, you'll be able to go a little faster and it's just gonna make it easier and easier. Don't feel like you have to land perfectly straight. A little under rotation is a little better than over rotation. You can always see the landing and know I'm going a little slow and you can force it and speed up the spin. But if you're overcooking it, like, oh, I spun way too fast, it's way harder to slow down a spin than it is to speed it up. <laughs> How did you stop right there? Okay. Gotta go faster. Yep. Yo, just a little quicker. Better. What do you think, push it back six inches? All right. Come on, give me a fast one, just go fast. Dude, that was perfect. He just went too slow. Well, we went through the motions. Spencer did a three. Didn't get it to the resi, but that's gonna be the next session. I'll we'll do a part two. Did I just miss one already? Before I can even finish editing this video, we're already doing a part two. Sunday session. We got two dudes wanting to do 360, so I had to pull the camera back out. As you've seen in videos in the past, John Andrews calls tricks, but now he's claiming 360s. He's already done 290s, and I missed the last one, obviously. But Spence, we're still in your video. I haven't even finished it, so part two is still happening right now. Work it, and one, and two, and pulse that booty, three, and four, and five, and six, and... Willow's gonna be here a couple months. Get a good look, crew. Cause you're gonna see this again in 15 years and I'm kicking you out of her bedroom. <laughs> Yo! How nice is that landing though when you can just do that? Well. Oh, shit. What happened on that one? I thought about doing it. Just regular jumping today. We're just doing regular jumps. Come on, Spence. Come on, no normal jumps today. Oh! How? Look at his way up. <laughs> this is my baby daddy. What is he gonna do now? Going in the same motion of the lift. Coach Barry. Like You're pulling when you going straight here. Guys, why are these guys not getting it? Okay. Just drop the shoulder. He's not leaning into it at all. No. Hey, I'm Barry and I use crest whitening strips. 
Look at this chick. Should I swipe right? Dude, you have a wife. No, let me see her. Oh, look at those. No, that's a dude, you guys. We're gonna see him land a 360. Oh! You are so close! Oh, bar spin and then a quarter pipe no hander. Oh, another bar spin? Who are you? Barry Noble says bar spins? Your body did it. Aren't they telling you to drop your shoulder? I'm not dropping my shoulder. No. Okay. You're not dropping it at all. Yeah, baby. Oh, the first? Yeah. Yeah, Spence. Make it to the ready. <laughs> <laughs> so I went through and like deleted some. But then I was like, Yo! That one look good. It's getting nice and stylish and leaning over. Yeah, so good. Keep it relaxed. Yo! What do you do? Just rolled it? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you no, know, you got adrenaline pumping. Let's just get it to Resi. <laughs> well, we did some tricks. Hey, look, I'm just trying to appease the peanut gallery. I know. I know. I'm a tough crowd. Right. You know what's cool, okay, though? Huh? That you can do all that stuff and wear a helmet all day and you still oh, look like a supermodel. On that note, we're out of here. 360 how to, we did it. Yeah. Still yeah. gonna have to have a part two. Yeah, I gotta take it to the resi. Should have done that That's today. Part two. Probably wouldn't two be hurt. Should have done the resi just because it's, it, on it, I feel like it's safer, safer. at this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch some other videos up here. Like them, subscribe, comment on them. You know the drill. Spread the love. We're out of here. Spread the love. No warm up, no helmet.